We all wore them. I called them sex bracelets, and all of a sudden it was like this big thing with the boys. What boys? Just some guys in our class. They started calling us sluts because we weren't interested in them. So Lisa didn't have a boyfriend? None of us do. Boys are way too immature, and anyway, we're too busy. Doing what? Studying. Benson. Lisa was really focused on college. That's what her mom wanted. Mm -hmm. Can I go? I've got Spanish. Sure. Thanks. How many teenage girls do you know who are too busy to have boyfriends? None. That was Teru. Morales has something. Sweet. Hi. You forgot to mention that Lisa was hooking up with half of Queens. Because she wasn't doing that anymore. You dress up like that to do your homework? Everyone dresses like this. Including Lisa. So what? So you lied to us. I'm sorry, I just... I didn't want you guys to think that she was a slut and tell her dad. Who was the older guy that she met online? He was a college student. He took her to some clubs, got her some clothes. He was rich. She was really into him until we started getting jealous. About what? Her hooking up with other guys. Got some Maddie Hitter ones. Did she tell you that? No. But she had this big black eye and she said she ran into a door, but I knew he hit her. What's this guy's name? Andy Wall. Oh. What's that sound like to you? Brian. Hey. 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 Uh, you're in trouble. Elliot. <sighs> Angela. I don't see what you're so upset about. You're selling yourself for clothes. No, I'm not. Brian just likes to buy me pretty things. Yeah, in exchange for sex. Have a seat. I do not have sex with him. No? Well, then what do you call what you did to Brian? <laughs> it's only oral. Oral sex, Angela. So what? It's the same thing I used to do when I hooked up. At least this way I get something out of it. Louis Vuitton bag, Prada shoes, Dolce Gabbana top. That's at least two grand right there. You're telling me that one guy spent that much on you? It's not like I do this all the time. You want to wind up like Lisa? No. So she was hooking at the mall with you, right? Yes. Until she started using the hotel. What hotel? The Barrington. She used to bring me little soaps and shampoos. When did she start turning tricks at the hotel? A couple months ago. I never did. You still use the stock room. I only did it for clothes, but Lisa was way into it. Especially after the guy told us how much money we could make. What guy? He picked us up at the mall. We were, we were window shopping. It's how we got guys to buy us stuff. And he said that we could make some real money at this hotel. He works there? At the front desk. I think his name was Jerome. Locker number 503, right here. It's not exactly your school uniform. Hey, you can't go in there. School says we can. Locker's their property. But that's my stuff. What's on the tape? I don't know. It, it's Lisa. She asked me to hold it for her. Hmm. Well, we take a look at it. girl-on-girl -girl action. Don't be shy. But there's our scarf. Uh, my hey, baby. And there's our Dr. Tanner. Whoa. I've got something for you. Did we contact Angela's parents? They're in Europe. They gave us permission to talk to her, but they didn't want to interrupt their trip. That's nice. Tanner videotaped his own little love train. 
That explains why he had Angela's scarf. She knew about Lee Santana the whole time. <laughs> this is humiliating. You, you didn't watch it, did you? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we did. I didn't want to do it, but Lisa begged me. She said that she needed cash, and Dr. Tanner was willing to pay us a lot of money. How much? $500 each. It's true. Angela, you have lied to us about everything. We're trying to catch the person who murdered your best friend, and you just keep lying. Because I didn't want you to find out what I did. So what else have you done? Nothing. I swear. What about Lisa? <sighs> she made some other videos. A lot of other videos. She was doing hardcore. Yeah. She took me to a porn store and showed me all of her DVDs. She said I could use the video as an audition tape and I could make a lot of money. I never wanted to do it again. Who's Lisa making movies for? Some guy named Max. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's up? We found the man who murdered Lisa. It was Max Long. Wow, so I guess it's over. Well, he didn't kill Dr. Tanner. Do you know who did? No, why would I? This tape that we got out of your locker. Lisa didn't ask you to keep it for her. She did? For once. Don't lie to me. I swear. There's gunshot residue on the tape. Your fingerprint is in the residue. You went to Dr. Tanner's apartment. You took your father's gun. Why'd you shoot him? I asked him to give me the tape. He said he couldn't because he would go to jail. But all I kept thinking was that somebody would see it and my life would be ruined. I pointed the gun at him. Grabbed it. And it went off. Ha, 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 ha.